and Annie from Croaky here and that we're at the very beginning of the Croaky Go for Vic Votes walk in Melbourne and I'm talking to Nicole Lee. Nicole, would you be able to introduce yourself and your background? Yeah, so I'm, I'm Nicole Lee. I'm a survivor advocate of um, family violence. I'm also a person with a disability and I'm currently running in the Victorian state election for the South East Metro region for the Upper House with uh, one of my other fellow advocates, Tarang Chawla. Now we're running to end violence against women and the main things that we feel that we need to bring to this day, space is to one, end the violence, two, um, put victim survivors first. Everybody keeps talking about being tough on crime. People have forgotten about the victims who are actually you know, of those crimes and fixing the system that's been broken for such a long time. Um, so it's imperative for us and for the rest of the community. You know, we've, we've felt firsthand what it's like to be um, on the receiving end of violence and we don't ever want to see that happen to anybody else in our community and it's something that all of us can play our part in. Now we've done a little bit of number crunching, it'll take one in five people in the South East to vote to end violence against women and we get in on our own right, no pre dirty preference deals by other parties, we're just two independents working hard to end this violence against all Victorians. And could you tell us briefly about the lived experience that both of you bring to family yeah. violence? Experience? So myself, I lived for 10 years in a violent relationship with my ex-husband who was also my disability carer. Now the violence involved sexual assault, physical assault, and financial and emotional abuse. Um, and I can't get that 10 years back, which is, you know, one of the things I, I live with every day. My friend Tarang, he lost his sister in 2015. She was murdered by her husband in her sleep that night. And, uh, you know, I can't, he tells the story of um, a warm January morning opening the door and seeing police there to tell him that his sister Nikki had passed away and that she was gone. And he said, even though it was warm, he had chills. No family should ever get that knock on the door and no person should ever have to sit back and, and wonder what they could have done with the 10 years of their life that's been taken away. And no person needs to live with the trauma and the nightmares and the recurring fear that we both live with. Nicole, for a national audience, um, Victoria has had a Royal Commission into Family Violence and you've been actually on an advisory committee yes. as a result. Is Victoria getting it right? I'd love to see the Victoria's getting it right, and this is why we're running right now, is that we're doing all of this work. But I think along the way, we've, we've, we've forgotten a little bit that they're not just recommendations. So the Royal Commission gave And from what we've been able to see is like, in some instances, those recommendations aren't speaking to each other. So we need to not only tick off the recommendations, we also need to make sure that they work together to do what they were meant to do, to seat, fulfill out you know, the Royal Commission's um, um, dream. You know, we've got a guidebook. We need to stick to it and we need to ensure that that's done properly and fully. Thank you so much for joining us here. Thanks, guys.